Hello and welcome to The Sins Review. I'm your host, Jackie Sins. So yeah, I am finally reviewing the American version of Let the Right One In, simply titled Let Me In. Uh, sorry, it's been a while. I just had to let the right one... Yeah, okay, yeah, you know. You may have heard there was an incident last night. One of your recent graduates here was killed. In the meantime, we need you all to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. You guys just moved in, huh? Let Me In was released in 2010 and directed by Matt Reeves. It stars Chloe Grace Moretz as... Ellie. No, not Ellie. In fact, it's not even Ely. I mean, it's Abby, but yes, yeah, she's the... Uh, Ely character in this case. She's the vampire girl. Cody Smith McPhee is the Oscar character, but in this film his name is Owen. Again, those are the two main characters. You know, there's others that, you know, affect the plot and whatnot. Um, there are some differences between this film and the original. And some are, uh, kind of questionable. Well, the film starts kind of backwards, like, uh, a guy is, uh, rushed to a hospital in an ambulance with severe acid burns. Um, a police detective tries to, you know, question him about this satanic cult or some shit. Um... If you've watched the original film, um, things will start to look a little familiar in this scene. Uh, eventually, we go back in time before all this confusion, and that's when the film really starts. Again, rather familiar, except something different about this leading male character. Owen is living in a kind of complicated situation uh, with his parents being divorced. His father's a no-show and he's having to live in the apartment with his alcoholic mother. Um, and kind of before we even witness the bullies like, you know, you know, tor tormenting him and whatnot, um, we kind of see that he's already been dealing with that. He goes um, in front of a mirror with a um, kitchen knife and like a kind of a Frankenstein looking uh, mask. It was, uh, this, this takes place in the 80s, so like, you know, it was really cheap looking and I guess for some reason different from the original, um, instead of calling, instead of the bullies calling him like, you know, little piggy or whatever, they call him little girl. And so he kind of expresses that in his revenge fantasy where he's like, you know, are you a little girl? Are you afraid? And all that, all that stuff. Uh, so, and I don't really get that, but, uh, you know, I can, I guess I can kind of, um, assume things, you know, I think it's, you know, it can be subject to interpretation, let's say. The leader of the bullies is also kind of more predatory than I remembered from the original. He must like having control of girls and anyone else who he considers as weak. So he's also sexist. Great. Um, anyway, Owen is a little different from Oscar. Uh, not entirely in a good way. I mean... Owen, like, he spies on people through a telescope, um, from his room in the apartment, and, you know, like, there's this couple that were engaging in foreplay, and he focuses very especially on that, I mean. So, he's kind of a little pervert. He's a freak, just like what the bullies also call him. Okay, I guess he still doesn't deserve to be physically tortured. Um, and there is one thing I don't understand. Like, he 
I don't understand the point of seeing him uh, buy uh, the knife from the store when in the original Oscar, you know, you know, found the knife, took it. I don't know. I don't remember if it was from a store or not, but, and I know this takes place in the 80s, but who in their right mind would sell a knife to a kid? And I'm, I'm pretty sure there were still laws against that. And you can't tell me that Owen stole the knife. I mean, it was in this huge glass case set aside with other knives. So, same as the original, he befriends his neighbor, Abby, who initially says they can't be friends. We hear her speak normally for the most part, um, but... When she gets angry at her, uh, her human slave, um, you know, for some reason her voice, uh, I don't know what to call it. It, it kind of, it just, it gets super deep and, you know, I, not exactly what I would call demonic, but it was just weird. I know she's a vampire and stuff, but why does her voice have to be like that? It, it's just, it's not scary it never comes up again it's just it's completely pointless anyway her human slave botched the job getting the blood for her so like in the original film she has to go um hunting and putting herself at risk to get her meal oh uh, you remember when i uh talked about the original film having subtlety and some freaky moments but not overdone well, look at the uh, this attack scene from the original film. Now look at the scene from the remake. What, what is up with that CGI shit? I, it, it looks ridiculous. I mean, like, I try not to judge movies based on effects, particularly for the time period and all that. But it's like, this just wasn't necessary. I mean, as you saw in the original, I don't think there was any effects used. But, you know... I guess they tried to make it seem freakier, but they just failed miserably. So, as you would expect, um, Abby and Owen kind of start to fall in love. Well, that's debatable. Um, there's also a mention of um, Abby, you know, not being a girl or not all girl, like, in, yeah. And... I really don't like the chemistry with these two as much as the original, and yeah, you can see the theme going on here. Um, so, again, eventually um, Owen uh, connects the dots and finds out about Abby's true nature. Are you a vampire? I need blood. And we have more familiar stuff from the original film. Vampires can't enter someone's home without being invited. Otherwise, bad stuff happens to them. So, ultimately, I prefer the original film, Let the Right One In. Let Me In is still pretty decent. It is just barely saved by Chloe Grace Moretz. Honestly, without her, I think the film would have been doomed. Even though I have my problems with this film, I still find it somewhat entertaining. I think most fans of horror can find at least something out of it. I give Let Me In Sin. This has been The Sins Review. I'm Jackie Stop. Sin. Stop pretending to be something you're not. What the fuck? Who is that? Look at you. 
acting perfectly calm, not even mentioning the gorgasms. Okay, who, whoever that is, and I'm going to kick your ass if you don't. It. Give in to that rage. You know what you are. Don't deny it. No. You're a killer. A cold-blooded killer. 